Tonight, the United States of America stands guilty of killing 10 civilians, including an Afghan working for a U.S. aid group carrying water who wanted to become an American citizen, along with seven innocent children. As if this fact is not tragic enough, the Biden administration lied to us and the world, claiming that by killing these so-called ISIS terrorists with their drone, they were preventing future attacks. That was a lie. The ramifications of their actions and the following cover-up that they all perpetuated in lockstep will forever leave a stain on America. Joe Biden, the liar-in-chief, his generals, Milley, McKenzie, Austin, and his clueless Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, are the real threat to America. They have repeatedly shown both us and the world that they are incompetent, incoherent, ignorant, and capable of lying as easily as they are talking about the weather. As if the Afghanistan stumbles have not been enough, from ignoring the incremental takeover of Afghanistan by the Taliban, by leaving the Bagram Air Base at night without even telling our allies, by leaving 10% of Americans behind when they said no Americans would be left behind, by leaving our enemies with over $60 million of sophisticated operational equipment, to putting the security of Americans in Taliban hands, causing 13 servicemen and women to die, to the State Department then blocking veterans, trying to help the Americans we left behind. Biden, General Milley, McKenzie, and Blinken covered up the real news that they didn't kill ISIS, they killed innocent civilians and then lied about it. But yesterday, on a Friday afternoon, the dishonest Biden cabal had to admit they sent a drone that fired a Hellfire missile, resulting in the massacre of 10 innocent civilian lives. The amazing part is the drone actually followed this vehicle for eight hours and still killed seven children. And tonight, we learn that seconds before, the CIA warned the civilians were present before the missile killed these innocents. But I told you last week that they killed civilians. In reality, that drone killed seven children. They hit the wrong car. They lied to us and said they took out Taliban facilitators. Look, the satellites we have are so sophisticated, you can read a license plate from outer space. The same people who allowed terrorists with suicide vests to be frisked are the same people who targeted the wrong car, killing seven innocent children. When the press reported the truth, they couldn't keep lying any longer. They had to admit they didn't kill any terrorists, as they claimed in late August and the September 1st. Instead, they had to admit that 10 civilians were killed in Afghanistan. They admitted it was a non-success. How dare you even use the word success? when civilians are killed? How dare you lie to us and give us your nonsense about this over-the-horizon capabilities in anti-terrorism? Now, I may not be in the military, but even I know you need assets on the ground and signals capability to carry out a successful strike. Hell, you couldn't do a drone strike with the CIA on the ground, and now President Biden thinks he's got over-the-horizon capability with no one on the ground. And your excuse? for killing 10 civilians, we did not have the luxury of time. It's important that I emphasize that. We did not have the luxury of time to develop pattern of life and to do a number of other things. We struck under the, under the theory of reasonable certainty. You're about to fire a lethal weapon and you're rushed. You have time constraints and you still fire that weapon? Who did you get your intelligence from? Your new friends, the Taliban? The same animals who missed or let in a suicide bomber that killed 13 of our servicemen and women, when anyone with any military knowledge knows they need to be strip searched in a private area. Or are you so dumb that you were set up for this? And I hear that the president rushed you. You're supposed to be the best in the military, in the world. You so fear an incoherent commander-in-chief that you kill civilians and come out and lie repeatedly and cover it up and say you killed terrorists and then double down and beat your chests? Were there others killed? 
Yes, there are others killed. Who they are, we don't know. But at this point, we think that the procedures were correctly followed and it was a righteous strike. At the same time, it's curious the Pentagon said they didn't know the names of those killed. Gee, I wonder why. And Jen Psaki on August 31st said this. What we've seen over the past week is that uh, our over-the-horizon capacity can work and has worked in going after ISIS targets and killing people who went after our troops. These people actually said they prevented another terror attack and that a second explosion was proof of explosives inside the vehicle, when in truth, it was a propane tank near the house. You lying fools! So after the killing of our 13 service members, lined up like sitting ducks in an open area because you decided to give up Bagram, you had to do something to look good. So you cover up, lie, double down on your so-called success. And for anyone who's interested, this is how terrorists are created. And here's the kicker. These woke fools will not require any heads to roll. No one will be fired. No one will be demoted in a government where the only thing that matters is identity politics, consequences for incompetence, unheard of. They tell you how successful the exit was from Afghanistan. They got 120,000 out, but only 5,500 were Americans. Who knows who the others were? And they take the credit for veterans who risk their lives yet again to bring back Americans by a president who lies to our faces saying he will leave no one behind? Biden either has ice running through his veins or simply doesn't care about anyone but himself and his family when he callously says, we left 10 percent behind. Yet these leftists continue to trash former President Donald Trump. At least he had the skill and the foresight and determination to take out the worst terrorists like Soleimani and Baghdadi. He had the skill to carry out a surgical strike in Syria to protect children from chemical weapons, the skill to drop the mother of all bombs on ISIS caves in Afghanistan. And everyone respected us when he was president, and they paid their dues, they paid their share. No one laughed at us like China and Russia are laughing at us now. The UK Parliament has held Joe Biden in contempt for his Afghan withdrawal, and experts tell us there is no way the British Parliament will vote for military cooperation with the United States under the Biden administration. And yesterday, France, one of our longest allies, in an unprecedented show of anger, pulled their ambassadors out of the United States because for the first time ever, because they deemed the U.S.'s behavior was unacceptable between allied partners, all this over a submarine deal and privacy, promises not kept by, the, by these Americans. And these delusional fools pontificate and tell us the world loves us and the world respects us. We once again are rising in prominence around the world as a place of refuge. We're being celebrated. We're leading. Every single one of you should be fired or resign. You are all an embarrassment to America. Heads must roll. And that's my open. Let me know what you think on my Facebook and Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.